This is Twit. So, uh, app pick wise, uh, Google this week. Uh, you want to notice there were a bunch of um, security announcements this week. Google, Microsoft, and other companies. Um, this was tied to I think what are they called? Internet Safety Day, I guess, yes. was Monday. Yes. Um, so Google actually both of my picks are tied to that. So uh, Google announced an extension for Chrome called Password Checkup, which will examine the passwords you, you've used recently and then the ones you're using as you go to make sure they weren't part of one of those um, data breaches where, uh, you know, uh, some number, some huge number of passwords were apparently leaked online and uh, they just want to make sure you're safe and so forth. And they will give you um, security notifications as well. Installed it instantly. Yeah, I did too. It's yeah. This is the no-brainer as well. Um, tied to this Microsoft Authenticator, which is the Authenticator app I do use on my phone, uh, picked up security notifications of its own. And that's actually really useful because obviously it posts, it puts up those notifications when you're trying to do a sign-in and you need to use 2FA or whatever. But now it will prompt you. I'm going to read the list here. Sorry. Every time I open my screen, it, my face lights up. But um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, da, 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 what is the list of things? Um, <laughs> I'll just sit here and read my own article until I find it, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> God. So it, basically, if there's suspicious behavior against your account, it will pop something up. And if it's not you, you can then resolve it from Changing there. Changing your password, adding a new phone mm -hmm. number, or email address, signing in from a new device or unusual location. God bless yeah. you. Thank you. All of those things. <laughs> yeah, all, all of those things. things. Yeah. Yeah. So makes sense. Also, super smart to use. Yes. I, I actually really like the Microsoft Authenticator. But you can only use it with Microsoft products. I kind of almost wish it was like Google Authenticator. No, no, no. You can add, you can add other ones. Oh, you um, can. So it's just yeah, like Google. I have, it's a time-based, oh, yeah, one-time yeah, yeah. password. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, I so I don't Instagram have to use Google there, anymore. Okay, yep. good. No. Nope. No, they're interchangeable. I, Google, well, what do you use, an iPhone? Uh, iPhone uh, and a Pixel 3 and a Note 9. So, and uh, yeah, so... I'll, on a, on a Pixel 3 or a, a Google phone, uh, those things, uh, the Google authentication stuff is kind of seamless. You don't have to use the app. And I love that. Oh. On an iPhone, you can you can kind of do it, but you have to use a Google app. So it, literally the Google app. I think it works through it's, Gmail too, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you can use Authenticator. So what I found on an iPhone is I actually have to run the app sometimes to make it pop up and it's a little you know less seamless. But if you're using an Android phone, it's awesome.